Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today, I'm gonna teach you how to clean your polishing pads so you can go from a dirty pad to a clean pad after you're done doing paint correction, such as a compound or a polish. So it's gonna be very quick, very simple, and very easy. I'm gonna give you three different alternatives. So without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day, so let's dig right into it, because today I'm gonna teach you and show you how to clean your polishing pads. Before we do so, if you haven't done so yet, make sure that you click the subscribe button that's found under this video, and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos, so you can continue to learn more about car detailing, so all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques. And also, don't worry, all the uh, tools, products, and equipment that I'll be talking about today, I'll leave links in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So today we're discussing cleaning polishing pads. Whether they're foam pads, microfiber pads, or wool pads, the same techniques apply, and I'm gonna give you three methods to go ahead and clean them. Why do we clean them? Well, that's a frequently asked question by you guys, my viewers, and essentially when you're done doing compounding and polishing on your paint, that's called paint correction, well, there's a lot of gunk and a lot of that polishing compound that's left into your pads. If you wanna keep them being effective, of course, in between passes, you're gonna clean your pads using either compressed air or a foam pad or microfiber pad conditioning brush like this. But also after you're done, well, to remove all that polishing compound liquid, you wanna go ahead and remove that using the techniques I'm gonna to show today. Very simple and very quick. So let's dig right into it. The uh, first method, so as you can see, this pad here is a foam pad and it's very dirty. It's gunked up with polishing liquid. So this is a free method because you probably have some at home. It's pure and simple dish washing liquid. And we also have, you can have the choice of having a uh, polishing pad cleaner, like this one from uh, McKees 37. Chemical Guys also makes a, a good polishing pad cleaner. Uh, you can also use an all-purpose cleaner. Uh, this one here is the uh, Meguiar's APC, but whatever automotive all-purpose cleaner you guys have, you're basically gonna spray on the surface and then you're gonna rub it in. But before that, you're gonna go to your sink and you're gonna use some warm water, so not scalding hot, just warm. And it's basically working all that stuff out as much as you can before you go ahead and actually clean it. So this is gonna soften and open the pores up. So come on in close so you can have a better look of what's going on. So now that the pores are open, what I'm gonna do, so you can use your pad cleaner if you have one, just like this. So you generously spray. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one half with a pad cleaner so you can see the difference. Or you can use an APC as well, if you want. And on the other half, just a bit of dish washing liquid. And basically it's working that into the pad. You're gonna see a bit of foaming there. And essentially it's to remove all the gunk and all the compound and polishing liquid. So work that in very efficient with your fingers. If you want to, you can use your pad brush to help scrub that out or any other brush that you have. But uh, yeah, your fingers, very, very simple. And then you rinse. So that's gonna help to remove and you can see all the polishing compound is getting removed from the pad itself. And now we're left with a clean pad. So when you're done, turn off the water and make sure you remove as much as possible from the pad. And now there we go. We have a super clean pad ready for use. And what I like to do is to put it face down for drying on a microfiber towel, or if you have some Scott towels as well, whatever you guys want, but face down because you don't want any liquid sticking on the top part where the glue is. So face down, if you have a drying rack as well, uh, you can let it air dry. And so it's ready for next use. Now the second method is using some, something very ingenious. So it's a pad washer. 
There are many different versions out there. So if you have more of a high volume shop setup, or if you used a lot of pads and you wanna increase your efficiency, typically for a vehicle, you'll use anywhere from five to six pads for compounding, five to six pads for polishing. So you're roughly at 10 to 12 pads, and that can be a lot, especially if you do a lot of vehicles during your week. So what you want is a more efficient system. So there are different systems with pumps, and one that I like is from the Detail Guards, and it's their pad washer system. So come on in close, because it's pretty simple. Essentially, at the bottom of your wash buckets, whether it's a three and a half gallon or five gallon standard wash bucket, you have typically a grit guard. This is an evolution. This uh, here is the Detail Guards Dirt Lock, which I love. Uh, I've done a review on this on my channel. But essentially, their system is a pump that you can see here and it locks in to your dirt lock. So especially if you already have some at home, you're gonna see there's some tabs. You basically put it in there, boom, that's it. So it clips on and then you have your wash bucket. And so this goes in the bottom of the wash bucket and it's basically a pump. And through all these holes, the water is gonna shoot up to clean your pad. So we're gonna secure that in the bottom. You want roughly about an inch over the, uh, the system itself. So some water an inch over that and come on here. So the rest of the system is quite simple. So we have a microfiber uh, pad here that we used to polish the vehicle and the detail guards in the kit, they have a pad cleaner. So basically you're gonna spray the cleaner generously on the surface of the pad and you work that in with your fingers to soften up all those compounding fluids, polishing fluids. You basically work it into the surface. It's citrus based, so I can, smells like kind of an orange feeling. And then you're gonna take the wand that comes with it. This is a uh, hook and loop system in the back for your hook and loop pads. You attach it on there. And now we go to the bucket, pretty simple. So you're basically gonna pump it in by agitating it and moving it around for roughly 20 seconds, and then the pad should be a lot cleaner. So let's go ahead. So you can see all that agitation. I can see the pink and the whitish stuff going into the water. So we're probably at what? 15 seconds, couple of more seconds here. And let's remove it and see, <laughs> wow. So let's remove the water as much as possible. You can take it off the system. Again, you're gonna remove all the water. And then if you have a look, look at that. <laughs> that's like 99.9% .9 clean, looking fresh. And uh, again, it was super simple. So imagine if you have a higher volume of stuff that you can do, this is very, very quick. Again, we're gonna lay this face down on a microfiber towel and let it air dry. Or if you have a rack, you can go ahead and do that as well. And method number three is pretty simple as well. So if you have even more pads that you've accumulated in a very high volume shop setting, you can clean your pads the same way I used to clean my microfiber towels. So this means in your washer, if you're allowed to use it, uh, or if you have a washer dedicated for cleaning car detailing car care products, uh, you can go ahead and do that. What I do is use a gentle setting. You're gonna use cold water as much as possible. So try to avoid super hot water when washing long-term because you don't want the uh, gluing adhesive between the uh, Velcro and the uh, foam or microfiber pad to be removed and uh, use a microfiber detergent and then you move on to air dry them as much as possible or tumble dry in a setting with very low heat that is super important or no heat even better so air dry if you can but i have a tutorial on how to properly clean microfiber towels on my channel so you can click the link up here and i'll also include the link to that video in the description under this video so guys it was super simple as you saw so you have to recap the first method which is free you use either some 
some uh, dish washing liquid or an all-purpose cleaner or a pad cleaner that you're going to spray on the surface of the pad. You're going to work that in with your fingers. You're going to rinse it with warm water and that's it. You're good to go. Lay the pad face down. The second method was using a pad washer system like the uh, Dirt Lock uh, polishing pad washer system by the Detail Guards. So very simple. You basically have some water in the bucket. You have your uh, dirt lock, so that's the car wash insert or the filter at the bottom of the bucket. You're going to attach the pad, spray a bit of the cleaner on it, work it into the surface, and then you pump it for roughly 15 to 20 seconds. And again, your uh, pad is going to be super clean. Uh, again, these techniques work for microfiber, foam pads, and wool pads, regardless of what you have. And the third method is to clean them as you would your microfiber towels. So all the products and the links, guys, that I talked about today, I'll put the links in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If that's the case, show me your support, smash the thumbs up button. Also, take a second. I highly recommend that you click the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.